All right, let's replace the broken driver side window switch. This guy's pretty well shot. It sticks down, kind of sticks up, doesn't do a lot. Um, for this, you're going to need some grease, not a loot, not oil or anything. You're actually need some grease. A pair of tweezers is helpful but not required. Q-tip that we're going to take the end off of, and you'll see why here. And two 3D printed parts here. Um, when you print these parts or purchase them, um, you need to print them to where these slices are. Uh, this direction, so slice one, two, three, four. Uh, that's the strongest dimension, otherwise it could fail again. You can also print it this way. Um, that's actually how I have this piece printed, but I don't like it, so I'm going to change that. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to take a flat hood, and we're going to open this guy up. If you stick in here, um, you're just going to kind of get those to hold and kind of hold it with the thumb, and then as soon as you get the next guy, it's going to come apart. Uh, this guy's going to come out like that. And one thing we'll need to do for later is you need to make sure this little lever here is in the very middle, right between the two little solder holes that aren't filled. That, that's for reassembly. Now the broken parts in here, um, we'll see, are behind this switch. So we're going to take the side closest to the passenger off first. I found that's a little easier. But then the driver's side is actually going to be kind of difficult here, but you're just kind of camming a flathead in there and oops, sometimes you trade them back and forth um, whoo, oops went flying doesn't always do that um, so the parts you have here get a rag real quick this guy right here is going to have a lot of grease all over it and uh, you need to make sure it stays greased as well this part will be broken uh, and we'll look at that here the easiest way to take this out is to push on the auto and it, there might be a little piece of glue holding it, but it will come out. And this light pipe will probably be broken. In this case, this guy's got a nice piece of plastic that hangs out the side here, and the other side's kind of broken as well. Um, so what we'll do is we'll take that out, and then the other part that's broken is this white piece right here. And when I push it out, I'm sure, yep, it's in two pieces. So here's one piece of it, and here's the other. So we're going to replace this part right here. It has a little and well I can't get to line up but whatever the new part is essentially the same it's designed much better it's got a lot more plastic and it has this foot that comes down and that foot comes and rests on the PCB if you look on one side of this part there's actually a nice uh, radius taken out of it that's so that it lines up here with this LED properly and you can see it just barely misses the switch right here um, by design of course so what we're going to do is we're going to drop this guy back in now the radius right here that we've got taken out needs to go away from the passenger window and you're going to kind of just drop this in the top take your flathead and just kind of push it down it should just seat right in there just well you'll see it kind of sticks out there the next thing we're going to do is we're going to put our new piece in here and you can kind of pick whatever direction you want this is actually this can go either way maybe flip it around if you want you'll notice we lose the auto we also, it doesn't light up anymore, but it looks pretty good. Um, and you want the longer piece to be on the right. This piece right here actually just moves the switch up and down. So we'll put the switch right back in the middle, like so, just directly between that. And then we'll take this guy and we'll push him back down and it'll lock right on. Oh, we forgot the spring. <laughs> Let's put that back on. I knew something was up. So I'm just taking this back off. Sorry, it's easier to do out of frame. So we're going to take our new spring here, and we're going to clean out any debris that might be in here. I should have done that before. Cool. And we're going to take some grease here. I'm using Shimano bike grease, but you can use whatever you want. Just don't use oil. <laughs> oil will get all over the place so ooh, I haven't used this in a while good there we go so the reason we tore that um, into that guy off earlier was that the q-tips by themselves are a little bit too thick and they won't quite fit in our 3d printed part right here so we're gonna lube that guy up and we're also going to apply some lube just grab it from there on our little V-notch part that we printed. 
that. There was lube on everything else. Uh, I just already washed it off. And so now we're going to kind of soak up all the excess. Uh, most lubes are not conductive. So we're going to take this guy, we're going to slip him in like that. It's a snug fit. And we're going to just drop that in. And now you can see our switch goes up, down, and level 3. So down, and then I guess you can't see that on camera. Um, again, make sure the switch is in the middle. And we're going to just plop this guy back together. Take this guy and snap it back on. on all three sides. And there you have it. We got one, two, and up. Like that. So now our switch works again. It's not as good as the factory, but it's pretty damn good. It's cheap.